Zapewniamy komfort i swobodę ruchu z podpaskami Bella Ideale. Dzięki pokryciu z tej softi podpaska jest niezwykle miękka, delikatna i elastyczna. Bella Ideale. Wyjątkowa, pewna, idealna. I think she's um, very strong, tough woman who knows exactly what she wants, knows exactly how to get it, and uh, is kind of the den mother of all these girls, takes them under her wing and shows them the rope so they too can benefit from her wisdom. Um, and also, I just feel like she also is one of these people who uh, has figured out the game. She knows how it's played at this level and, uh, and she's not going to be taken advantage of. Destiny uh, hasn't really figured out the game yet. She's kind of new to the game. And I think of Destiny as somebody who's kind of her whole life been looking for a female role model and a friend. And that's sort of what she finds in Ramona's character. Um, just somebody to look up to who not only owns her power, but like understands how to use it and like take agency and is just really sexy and beautiful while she's doing it. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably the hardest, one of the hardest things I've ever done for a movie. Um, it's really acrobatic, it's really athletic. These girls, you know, even Cardi, who has done this in real life, told me, you know, and she's like, I'm really good at it. I said, are you? I was like, you have to teach me because I'm just learning. And uh, she was like, it took years. Yeah, it took it takes years to kind of really get good at, uh, at pole dancing. And I was trying to, I had this girl who uh, worked at Cirque du Soleil, Joanna. And she, you know, was trying to like give me the crash course because I had to look like I had been doing it for years. Ramona is, is like the OG. She's, the she's there. The she's the best one in the club, and she uh, had to to look that way. So, uh, but it was it was super hard. The training was really, it was like bang you up training, like bruises everywhere training. Yes, but also I think it's yes because I think we don't see a lot of these stories. But I think what this movie does is it's more like a humanizing story because these girls do objectively bad things. So we're not saying like right. drug men and steal from them. Right. Everybody's Obviously. complex. When yeah. they see good fellas, we're not saying join the mafia. When you're when you do boogie nights, you're not saying, hey, the born industry is great, <laughs> just go into it. No, we're saying this is slice there are of humans life. underneath this. And so I think in that sense we're humanizing women who haven't been humanized in pop culture before. And in that sense I think it's very empowering for people to actually just be seen as People. Yeah, I mean, to have a movie that's produced by women, written by women, directed, directed by a woman, starring all women, that in itself is empowering. And we're telling the story of some very interesting characters who are women. And I think, like she said, in that sense, it is very empowering. I think Lorene very quietly knew exactly what yeah. she wanted. And she wasn't, she didn't impose so much. She's not one of these directors who's like yelling things out or it has to be like this or it has to be like that. We all came with our ideas of who these characters were. She put it on the page. We interpreted it and did our job as actors. And she kind of let us do our job. She did. Um, like I said, kind of quietly knowing the whole time how she was going to tell the story. And so long as we didn't step too far out of bounds, I mean, which I don't think any of us did. I mean, we played around. Yeah. She let but, us play. Yeah. And we did. We played a lot, actually. Yeah. Yeah.